Hello, teachers, parents, and educational leaders, and welcome to this episode of Breaking Down the Best. Now, during this episode, you will get a peek into the members-only area where I have tons of resources to help you make math fun, make it click, and make it stick. There should be a link somewhere around this video where you can learn more. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's get to it and let's break down the standard. Welcome to Breaking Down the Best, a video series dedicated to breaking down Florida's best standards for math. So grab something to write with and maybe even a snack. This looks good. And don't forget to put a smile on your face. There you go, I see you. And let's dive into today's best standard. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Sarah McCarthy, the creator of McCarthy Math Academy. And I just wanted to thank you for taking time out of your crazy, busy, hectic schedule to join me on this episode of Breaking Down the Best, which today we're going to break down the following standard. And that standard is MA.3.NSO.2.4 third grade number sense operations 2.4. The standard is saying to multiply two whole numbers from zero to 12 and also divide them using related facts with procedural reliability. This is stage two. So at first in 2.2, I believe, NSO.2.2 for third grade, we were in the exploration level, the exploration stage. Now we're in stage two. We've kind of, we've used the concrete manipulatives and now we're working on the procedural reliability step, which means that the instruction focuses on helping a student choose the method that they can use reliably. So let's talk about some connecting benchmarks. There's a lot because it's multiplication and there's a lot of multiplication in third grade. So NSO.2.2 is where we're exploring multiplication and division. We just talked about that. NSO.2.3 is when we're multiplying by multiples of 10 or 100. 3.AR.2.2 is true false equations with multiplication and division. 3.AR.3.3 is patterns. And then um, I believe that there should have been another area standard in there, but this one they're saying area with composite figures, but there is, I think it's GR.2.2, where area is length times width, and you need to know your multiplication, right? All right, let's go over some of these terms. Expression means no equal sign. Equation means that there is an equal sign present. So expression means like if you had two plus three, there is no equation it's an expression, but as soon as we throw that equal sign there, it becomes an equation. Factor, those are the things that you multiply. Factor times factor equals the product. Dividend, that's the total that we're dividing. The divisor is the second known term. It could be the number of groups or it could be the number in each group. The commutative property of multiplication is where you can flip flop those factors you can change the order of the factors and arrive at the same product. The associative property of multiplication is our grouping property, saying it doesn't matter how you group factors when you're multiplying, you'll still arrive at the same answer. And distributive is where you break a factor down. So in this case, we broke the factor four into two and two, Add those together, you'll get six plus six, which is 12, which is the total for three times four. All right, that was a lot, hang on. Ah, okay, all right, where are they coming from in second grade, right? They are coming from repeated addition, which is 2.ar.3.2. And then they're going to fourth grade and there's a lot of multiplication and a lot of division in fourth grade. NSO.2.1 is where they can recall their facts, multiplying and dividing fluently or with automaticity, I think they say. 4.NSO.2.2, multiplying three digits times two digits. 4.NSO.2.3 is two digits times two digits and 4.NSO.2.3 2.4 is four digits divided by one digit. So as you can see in third grade, 
we have to make sure they understand multiplication and division, that they feel comfortable and confident with it because then it's gonna be time to rock and roll in fourth grade. This was a big point. Procedural fluency of multiplication facts with factors up to 12 and their related division facts is not expected until fourth grade. In other words, students are not expected to master their fast facts until fourth grade. However, I put a little star here because as a third grade teacher, I would be trying my absolute hardest to get my students as fluent as can be in third grade because in fourth grade, they have to be able to rock and roll with it, okay? So it's not expected, but I would still set high expectations and try to help them to reach that goal. This one builds on properties of multiplication, which we talked about, the commutative, associative, and distributive property. And this can change the orientation of things. So for instance, this is the four times six equals 24. Or if you flip flop those factors using the commutative property, you could get six times four, which equals 24, but it looks different. The picture to model it will look different. This one again is saying memorization does not indicate work towards multiplication and division fact fluency. So students should be able to explain how they know multiplication and division facts. So basically they need to be showing their journey, not just saying six times four is 24 because I said so, but having a method to back up how they know it. All right, and you can take a look at some of those instructional tasks and items that they've made available on the Florida Department of Education website. But let's take a look at some resources that you have at your fingertips that you can use to make learning fun. All right. So going to McCarthyMathAcademy.com, you know to go to Members Enter here. Take it on the best. Third grade. We're on NSO. And 2.4, which I've labeled as properties of multiplication. Okay. So if you have the bronze, silver, or gold package, you have access to these bronze resources, which include video lessons and printable student guides. So in this video lesson, we are learning all about the commutative property of multiplication. You got that printable right there. Oh no, don't play it. Sorry. The next video is the associative property of multiplication and the printable. And then in the third video, we've got the distributive property because we focus so much on multiplication and all the strategies. We've dedicated this to just the properties. Okay. Let's take a look at the printable so you can see what it would look like here for your bronze and all the answers are provided in the video lesson. Now, if you have the silver or gold package, you also have access to extra practice, math missions, and a math misconception mystery episode. So let's click that you can go back to your bronze resources at any time, but here for your silver right away, you can see this math misconception mystery video. That's where I transform into four different characters. All four of those characters solve the same problem. Three of them make a mistake. One of them has the most reasonable answer. It's great for error analysis, math discourse, group discussions. It's so good. Take a look at it and it's fun. And I, it gets a chance to be silly and make learning fun. So, um, boom. All right. So here's your printables for the silver resources. I'm going to go ahead and download this answer key while we're waiting too, because my internet speed is being a little slow. Okay. So here you go. You can see you've got the video lesson printable, like with your bronze package, but then you have extra practice. So everything we just did in the video lesson, now you have a couple extra practice pages to provide for your students video lesson, extra practice, Vi video lesson. And I think two pages of extra practice for the distributive property too. Then here is the math mission with your properties of multiplication. So you can take a look mentions about the commutative property, analyze the work that connecting it all. And here is the math misconception mystery episode. I love when it's multiple choice. Um, 
And here I've included that word not because we know anytime there's a not in a word problem or any kind of problem, it really flips their thinking. So they'll have to do a lot of thinking for this one. And I love that. You can see here, this is their report that they jot down who the most reasonable answer belongs to. And then with the other three characters, what did they do that was correct? Because they do do some things correct. Um, identify their errors and what do they need to know for next time. So those are your principles. And here are kind of what the answer keys look like. Okay. Ooh, I like this one. Let me go back up. I just noticed that um, for this, for the video lesson, um, it says connect it to the real world. So it's creating a real world example using the associative property, which is cool. All right. And then, yeah, just all kinds of stuff. Sample answers for the math tasks, all that. I've got your back. All right. And then if you have the gold package, you have access to the video lessons and the printables from the bronze package. You have all the silver, plus you have mini, a mini assessment, the math, I can't talk today, <laughs> McCarthy Math 155 lessons, and this ad-free version of this video. So gold plan, do to do here's the mini assessment right here, and you can see just all kinds of different types of problems there for you. You know, this is going to trip them up. So this is good. This mini assessment is great for practice tests because I'm sure you might have assessments that you already have to give, but this will give you a good idea of how they're doing. And the answer key is right there. This is where the video is that you're watching right now, ad free. And McCarthy Math 155, based on the Common Core standards, you have access to this with the gold package. This is the old plan um, for the Common Core but I had to create taking on the best because it wasn't enough to support you, but there still was a lot. So here you can see in this one, unit three properties of multiplication. That's basically what we're doing. So you just gotta scroll down a little bit. You have access to all these videos. So this commutative property, associative property, distributive property, distributed property, and then all the properties. It's gonna be so much fun if you have the gold package too. All right, so you know what package you have, you know now what you have access to. Um, if you choose to upgrade it at any time, just email me and I will help you through that process, okay? All right, and that's it. But before we go, I have to remind you that what you do with your life every day, what you step into every day, it really does matter. You matter. I know that this profession is so crazy and stressful and exhausting, but what you are bringing to the table every day, it does matter because our students are the future. And we might not know the time that we spend with them, how it's going to impact and shape their lives, but we have to believe that what we do will have an impact, will guide them on their journey so that they can step into the best version of themselves. So thank you for all that you do. I truly believe in you. I believe in this profession. I know it's a little crazy, but that's why I'm doing what I do is to support you. I really mean that and I, I believe in you. Thank you. If nobody's told you thank you today and that you're awesome, here is your, your hug, your virtual hug from me today. All right. With that said, I cannot wait to see you on another episode. So take care. Bye-bye. Okay, so I know that I just said goodbye for now, but I'm going to ask you to do one more thing, okay? If you enjoyed this episode, please consider sharing it with your teacher friends or other leaders in education. That's how I get to continue doing what I love to do, which of course is supporting you all to the best <laughs> of my ability. All right, for real now. Bye.